But I don't know what it is. I think it might just be like my... Holy tits on a tricycle. What the hell happened? The fudge was that? Hello and welcome to another indie horror game demo, and yet another entry from the recent Next Fest. Today we're playing the demo of Tempest Triad, which is going to be all about time manipulation and something else. And I don't want to spoil it for you, but it looks pretty fun. Really nice little setting out here, and uh, yeah, it kind of touches on a topic I wish we'd have more horror games about. You're a scientist in a secret military base conducting tests of the material capable of manipulating objects through time. Some objects may appear days earlier or disappear completely, and extinct plants are the furthest things that the machine has managed to bring back. When the military wants, us to, wants to turn this into a technological weapon, you see an opportunity to use the machine for your own purpose. To go back months in times and prevent the accident that took the lives of the two most important people to you. So yeah, we are a scientist who's, I think our wife and daughter died? Okay, I have a flashlight, but apparently neglected to bring batteries. So, how about this Silent Hill military base? Need to go underground perform the final test. Yeah, it is, uh, it is letterboxed. Sadly, there was not a setting to get rid of that, as far as I could tell, but... Just this, and I'll be back to you, my daughter. Uh, honestly, yeah, first impressions of that the game looks really frickin' good. I mean, it's kind of... Oh, there we go. Alright, letterboxing disappeared. Oh, ask the soldier to remove the vehicle from the road. Hey, buddy. Where's Soldier Sam? Is he the guy, hopefully, on the guard post? Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, you know, admittedly, it is kind of a... It's a bit of a cheat to say a game looks good when it's, like, basically white-out levels of visibility, but... <sighs> okay, we do have stamina. Uh, let's look and see. Is there invisible wall anywhere? Actually, I kind of want to just go look around. Oh, fudge. Vehicle removed, return to it. Wait, what? Wait, I didn't even ask anyone. Okay, weird. But yeah, there's a helicopter back there. Hopefully I'll be able just to leave. You know what? All I'm gonna say, and I think I've talked about this before, I really, 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 really want a game based on Stephen King's The Mist. That was such a cool fucking world. That was such a cool idea. I loved that. The light at the end of the tunnel. Is it freedom or an oncoming train? Well, let's maybe, uh, step off to the side here so we don't find out the hard way. But yeah, I... That's one of, like, the few ideas that, like... If I could choose four or five ideas off of my big games concept list, I I would absolutely do that one. All right. Well... Wait, what? I, my, I do have a flashlight. It's just absolutely fucking worthless. All right, cool. Yeah, I mean, this this genuinely looks, like, surprisingly good. It's not the best thing I've ever seen come out of an indie horror game, but... Okay, no, seriously, is, it, is this a joke? When do I get my real flashlight? Like, what the fudge? I, I may as well just be, like, kind of squinting my eyes here. Where is everyone? I don't know, everybody got the memo that you're about to go fuck with the magical space-time continuum stuff? It doesn't matter now. Yeah, there's like these little containment chambers. Just get it done. This guy's doing something dumb. Like, bruh, I, I, I truly, I do understand, right? The whole, like, I want to bring my family back. I don't want to lose them, but... Like, you don't, you don't mess with time manipulation stuff. That just seems like a really dumb idea. Because the problem is that you never know what it's going to do. Okay, so that... That's like a brain and a nervous system... Capsule and spine go in there. Alright, so this is obviously our little test bed bullshit. So wait, we're going to send... Okay, hold on. I thought this was just going to be like, we're going we're gonna to send this out. Are we going to send ourselves back in... Well, yeah, I guess that is the idea, right? He wants to send himself back in time. But I thought this was implying it was bringing stuff forward. I mean, I can say there is one viable use for time tech, and it's to, like, replenish extinct species. Yeah, you get a few breeding pairs of them, you carefully manage the population, and then there you go. Well, okay. Insofar as time travel went, that seemed... pretty easy. Oh? And we're in the same room. Bruh, you really think the military is gonna let you go? What a terrible headache. 
I like how it starts playing like the the oncoming like disaster music. Did it work? I don't know, buddy. The capsule is gone, but I only used it once. Well, then it probably didn't work. Okay, current has returned to the surface. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to, to be completely honest here. Okay, there's an emergency button there. God, this is like, actually, this is a kind of nice little intro. I like that it didn't really fuck about too much. Yeah, the game was just like, yeah, we're just gonna go in and get started. Yeah, you know, one of the things that always frustrates me a lot with these, like, these horror demos, they tend to be, like, the first level, but the first level is 90% just bullshit tutorial and, like, walking around. You don't really get a whole lot out of it, or they, like, they end with a jump scare. They end with, you know, something kind of nonsense. They don't really ever end with anything satisfying. Also, not gonna lie, this, not OSHA safe at all. That is a... That is a great way to get your arm caught and then just have it sheared off at the shoulder. So what do you got up here for me? More vehicles. Find a general to learn what happened. All right, well, fire alarm's going off or whatever it is, the uh, tornado siren. I'm gonna go back downstairs, screw this place. Ha ha. Oh, I, I was kidding. I don't actually want to do that. Damn it. No, get back here, button. Fudge. Now, what the heck happened here? Why is the siren going off? Well, what is going on? Where's, like, the tactical teams? Did these guys really just leave that device open and available? Oh, we done fucked up. We have made a big mistake. We should... Probably not do that. Yeah, we might have brought something back with us when we went back in time. Okay, what else we got? He's probably in the helicopter. I imagine the helicopter is probably now resting, like, in the stomach of a T-Rex or something like that. What was that? Sounded like gunshots, I think. Yeah, gunshots. What the hell is happening here? I... I don't... know. Oh, well, yep, screw this. We're leaving. For the record, I don't think you're actually supposed to fly in weather this foggy. Not unless, like, it's an absolute emergency, which, I mean, to be fair... The hell? What am I hearing? I don't know what that was, that... That sounded very, very odd. Also, that was... Unsurprisingly, I think this is gonna be a Russian game, or at least that was a Russian helicopter. Yeah, what the heck was that noise? Also, I'm noticing, like, a lot of this... Yeah, when I'm sprinting, there's, like, a lot of this weird striping going on with the floor textures. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Uh, okay, anything... Well, I can't do anything here. Can I go back? Is there something up here, maybe? Uh, can I go through the tunnel? Let me guess, it's gonna get brought down by something? Oh yeah, yeah, that thing's on fire. Bruh, come on, like, I know there's the whole thing about like, Oh, dinosaurs, or oh, they're so tough. Man, you can get up to like 15,000 feet. Someone please tell you what's going on. Man, you fucked with the time stream and you brought back dinosaurs. I don't know how difficult this is to understand. The hell was that? And idiot the helicopter has the base been discovered. Uh, again, discovered by what? Did the... The helicopter did not come this way. No, it didn't. Oh, okay. For a second, I thought that big shadow up there was something, uh... Was something else. Yeah, alright. But no, seriously, what, what do you think happened, man? Do you think the frickin' Russians were like, Oh yeah, we're going to send in the, the dinosaurs? Or what, you think NATO invaded by sending in a bunch of T-Rexes, Raptors, and Pterodons, or whatever they're called? What is it, is it Tronodon? I, I don't know. I don't know shit about dinosaurs, except basically what Jurassic Park taught me. Which really is that nature finds a way. 
I see. I would normally go over that way further away, but I actually don't trust the woods right now. I don't trust the woods, because... Yeah, that's why. Because I think that there's going to be raptors out there. Okay, let's not mess with that. Oh, boy. Go behind the base to find the helicopter? Oh, so I probably need to, like, go through all this. Okay, this is gonna suck. I can crouch and squeeze through here. Okay, guys, come on. I... that, I suspect, is raptors. But no, seriously, like, I don't think there's anything... Anything flying under its own, like, wing of power, I don't think can get as high as a helicopter. I didn't think it can get 10% as high as a helicopter. Oh, hey there, Mr. Raptor. Can I go ahead and do the, uh, bad Jurassic Park thing where I put up my hand and be like, No, stop. Bad. Let's not go that way, that's a bad place. Now let's go down, I want to see. It seemed like it would have come down this direction. But yeah, I, I imagine I probably do need to go near the raptor. But, gotta check. <laughs> the hell was that? Okay. No, I mean genuinely, can I get- can I get a real flashlight here? Come on, man. This isn't a flashlight, this is a kid's wind-up light toy you get out of a box of cereal. I'm actually really liking the atmosphere for this, though. This is nice. I, I really like the aggressive fog. I really like the, uh... Just kind of, like, overall feel of this. It has a nice mix of tension and... No, I know it's going to... <laughs> okay, find a way to get past the creature. Okay. That's a compy. You need to wait for that little guy over there. He needs to, like, go back around. Honestly, I'm mostly just worried about the jump scare. It's been a, uh, past couple of weeks for my job have kind of been absolute trash. I know your little friend is gonna be wandering around out here. Yeah, I know there's a lot of, like, creative liberties that were done with... Oh, ow! Ah, fudge. Run! I mean, bro, look, seriously, like, like the little compy thing like this, I swear to God, you could just punt it like a little rat dog and it'd be fine. Yeah, there we go. Ha, huh, can't go up a gentle slope, can you, fucker? Actually, do I have... I don't really have, like... Do I have any inventory or anything, so I, I guess I must just have health regen? Okay. What were those things? Bruh, seriously. Have you never seen a movie? Dinosaurs? They exist? How the hell are they alive? Hmm, gee, I don't know, man. It's craziness. Fudge, Jesus Christ, taking fire. That didn't seem like that worked out for that guy. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure I wasn't taking fire, but it is fascinating that that's like genuinely my initial reaction. I think it's because I, I tend to play, like, some tactical shootery shit, and I've, uh, been on and off working on a... Go through the containers, you find a clue about the helo. That means go through the containers till I get raptored. But on and, on and get off again, working on a, uh... I can't really talk too much about it, because, I mean, it's so early in its development, but a, uh... A horror tactical shooter idea that I've wanted to see for years. But, I mean, we're just in the earliest stages, so... And we'll have to see, but it's... It is really interesting, because that's... I don't know what it is. I think it might just be, like, my... Holy tits on a tricycle. What the hell happened? What the fudge was that? Okay, do you... Oh, okay. Cool, you slowly left. Let's go do something that would get me kicked off of any work site. As a stupid idea, that's gonna crash down behind me, guarantee it. Really? I'm actually mildly impressed. See, again there, scientist Sam, if you could go ahead and be like Gordon Freeman and maybe be able to do a pull-up, I think you'd be a lot better off. 
Actually, it's surprisingly hard to do pull-ups, especially when you're tall. Like, I know, uh, it's one of the things that, like, it's one of the things that short people have a really easy time with. I can't remember what the math... Oh, Jesus Christ. That is... That's that thing. The, uh... Oh, it has like a... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It has like some name that sounds kind of... Ah, shit. Yeah, I'm screwed there. Um, it has a name that sounds like kind of Aztec. It's like Quetz Quetzalcoatlus or something like that. I, I Again, I have no idea. People who are better versed than dinosaurs would be able to tell you about that, but... Yeah, that was in one of the uh, newer, let's just say not as good, Jurassic Park movies. Really? You're SCP-173 mechanics. Huh. I wondered about that. Oh fuck, no you're not. Well, never mind. <laughs> that didn't go over well. So it is SCP-173 rules? That feels very odd to me. For a dinosaur like this to have like... The, the ha-ha watching you, you can't move thing. Don't get me wrong, it's kind of unique. It's not at all what I expected from this. Yeah, I actually, I had to go look up a... Uh, I had to go look up a couple of things about this game because I was like... Really unsure about what I was trying to do. And no, th this area is just apparently kind of bugged out. Yeah, apparently if he kills you, he'll like... This thing can end up kind of getting like completely stuck. Ah, fudge, okay. So you need to turn this on and look for the gate. And I bet that's off to the back. It's probably back by where I just was. Maybe? Actually, not entirely sure, but can you fuck off already there, fingers? Holy heck. Kinda like the creepy dude at the anime convention, Jesus Christ. No. Shoo. I do not consent. Consent is important to people like you. Note that I say consent is important to people like that and not to uh, other people, though. Uh, no. Holy Christ, you get some fucking speed on you. Jesus. Okay. Alright, so yeah, no no looking away for more than, like, a second. Yeah, I, I imagine it's probably the area with the fly with the light, but... No. No, you stay back. You stay back, you big bitch. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now, are you gonna try to chase me out here? Yeah, no, I think he is. Okay. Not not a fan of that. Not a fan of creepy Mick, uh... You have Edward Scissor's hands coming out after me. Oh, fuck me. The hell is that? Okay. You know what, let's not go in the water. I feel like going in the water is a death sentence. Alright, well that, that was a neat little section though. Like I said, definitely... Definitely didn't expect the player, uh... Helicopter should be around here. Oh, one so damn foggy. I'm noticing these like little green lightning bugs. I'm kind of curious if that's like a guiding thing for the player or if that's just a coincidence. Seems to be making me progress. Yeah, I need to get out of here as fast as possible. I don't know why you think going to a destroyed helicopter is gonna help unless you want to get like an AK or something from it. All right, let's see. Big spooky cave probably full of spiders or stay out here. Let's stay out here because I'm not an idiot. What in the fudge? How long was I out? The heck? What'd they do? Did I teleport in a frickin' blue whale? Yeah, I must have, and then what? Let, like, the raptors have at it? Yeah, in all honesty, though, like... Looking at these models, they're not super high poly, right? Like, you can see the polygons, for God's sake. But how they've combined it together and made this, this is, like, super interesting. The f- was that an owl? I, I guess it was. Now, the problem is... 
Jesus ah! Christ, all right. You know what, I, that, that actually did manage to startle the hell out of me. See, I don't even know what I would personally do in a situation like this, besides have myself armed and... Huh. So there are the green fireflies there. Well, fudge, now I almost want to go into the tunnel. I felt like the tunnel was going to be the place to go that would, like, progress the story, but no, I... Now I wonder if going out here is where we're supposed to go. No, let's go check out the tunnel. I want to go see what's inside of there. Nice pea soup green fog in here. Alright, so what, is there going to eventually be like, uh... Is there going to be destruction in here, or... See again, this, this also feels like a place that I should go. I don't know if, like, if I'm supposed to go here after the helicopter? Okay, first off, that's a fucking RPG. Second, that looks a lot like an Allosaurus. So what, what kind of little manlet am I that that RPG is that big? Get out of here. Oh, you cock tease. Let me go all the way down here to grab that. Honestly, wouldn't even really need an RPG. I don't remember why, I think years ago there was like a 4chan thread someone sent me and it was people discussing... Okay. Don't like that. Really, really don't like that. I expected to turn around to see him about to chop my tits off. Yeah, um, there was a bit of discussion from people about like, oh, what would be the best gun to like hunt dinosaurs? And I think the, uh, I think the sub was that you could basically use anything you'd use to hunt, like, modern elephants. So, really not that difficult to actually bring down. Yeah, pretty much anything 50 cal or up would be able to hunt, like, a T-Rex. Any, anything able to bring down a deer would be something perfectly suitable for raptors. But, again, we're not here to hunt them, we're here to run away from them because my dumbass decided to bring the Jurassic era to the modern era. Alright, so what else do we got up ahead of us? We have... Uh, and we gotta wait for... Yep, there we go. More of the lights. Got more fog. Got more bullshit. Alright, where's the next batch of little glowy fireflies? I keep expecting just to like... Oh, yep. I was gonna say, I keep expecting to see like a fire. From the crashed helo. Oh? What do we have here? Oh yeah, it's more of these things, more of these little... Uh, why are these things happening? Damn it. Bruh, you saw this go down. Why are you surprised? Did this place go back in time or did the creatures come to the present? That would be an interesting twist. I only have one capsule left. And there's some dead pilot. This has to work, I need to fix all this. It will. It has to work. Okay. Yeah, we we need to we need to get some guns. Hey, Rexy, how you doing? All right. Well, there we go. So that was the demo of Tempest Triad. That was really solid, except for the weird bug with the. Uh, yeah, except for the weird bug with the whatever that guy is. I don't know, maybe I'm completely wrong with the weird name that sounds like it's something from... Actually, now that I think about it, the thing I said, that might have been like a form of Raptor. Whatever the hell it was, that this was a really fun little game, and that was really the only major bug I found. Um, a little bit of guidance maybe is like what's definitely progress versus not. There's a little bit of optimization stuff, and in all honesty, just like... Don't give us a flashlight if it's gonna be that dark, or give us a flashlight that's real. I mean, that that was, like, that was offensively stupid. Um, not in terms of, like, the developer itself, but I mean, yeah, yeah, right? It, it's almost a joke. It's like a cruel prank. Oh, here's a flashlight. Good news. It has three feet of throw, and basically, again, is like a wind-up kid's toy you'd find in a cereal box. I mean, at that point, you may as well not even have the damn thing. But, uh, yeah, developer, honestly, keep it up. This was really solid. Loved the atmosphere. I loved the fog. I It had me really tense quite a bit. Um, really kind of cool to see that moment, too, with the big clawed bastard who was like, ah, oh, I'm going to kill you, but you had to look at him. That was not what I expected from a dinosaur game. Um, 
yeah, I mean, there's definitely some optimization. There's some ways to improve, but I'm really excited to see where this one goes. So keep it up, and I uh, can't wait. So thank you guys very much for hanging out and watching the demo of Tempest Triad. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know how you felt about this one. And I look forward to seeing you all in another video very soon. Bye.